Hello and what is up guys, Jack here from Ezekiel Gaming HD and this is part 4 of the non-rare gems series. Um, so if you missed uh, any of the other parts or other episodes, make sure you do check them out in the series playlist which should be available to click on the screen in an annotation or on an annotation or in the description. So if you're on a mobile or iPad or something like that. Um, I, will gonna, I am going to say I am starting my Dream Team series tomorrow or I'm hoping to. Um, so if we do hit 150 likes, I will upload that tomorrow and you'll see the Dream Team series which I can't wait to show you guys. Um, but before we get into the video or the content of the video, I just want to say a quick shout out to the Foot Shop for sponsoring this video. They are a cheap and reliable source to get your coins from. You can also use the discount code ZEKE -E uh, for a further 5% off which could go up to about 10% soon but you'll know that when you put in the code it will tell you anyway. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the main part of the video. We've got six centre-backs I've got here for you, and they're all obviously non-rare players. And the first one we have is Besong. He plays for Norwich, and he is in the BPL, so he's in a very good league to use. Um, he's left-footed, he's got medium medium work rates, and he's also got some very beastly in-game stats. The main thing is, though, he has 74 pace, he's very strong, he's got 86 strength, and he's also uh, quite tall at six foot one as well. So he used to be a silver on FIFA 13, which is why he went for absolutely loads of coins, but now he is a gold, just about a gold anyway, and uh, that's going to bring his price right down, so make use of it whilst he is at this current rating. Moving into the next player, we have Jesus, and he plays for Inter Milan, and for obviously from the Serie A, he's Brazilian and he has 79 paces, 6 foot tall, 79 defending, 80 heading, he's got 83 strength, 87 aggression, he's got 82 standing tackles and he's obviously got medium medium work rates again which is very good. Um, apart from that, he's, he's also quite young so he's someone that you might could pick up in a career mode, I know this isn't a career mode video. But if you look carefully at his stats, he's probably going to be uh, a lot better in a couple of years to come. So definitely someone to use uh, for your Brazilian teams or your Serie A teams. Moving into the next player, we have Cayute. And again, just like Bassong, he used to be a silver player. And he used to go for a lot of coins, just simply because he's a very good player. Now he's a non-rare, or just about a gold non-rare, just like Bassong. He has 82 pace, 75 pace, 82 heading. And he's also 6 foot free tool. He's only 23 years old, so just like Jesus, he's going to rise, or he should um, peak uh, mid 20s or something like that. Obviously, every player is different, but do expect him to uh, get a few ratings up in the future. FIFA's um, in game wise, he does have uh, medium medium work rates again, and uh, 88 strength and 82 jumping. Obviously, jumping is quite a big one on a FIFA 14 because every single goal seems to be just from headers or tramps, you know, just, you know, not very nice goals to be honest, or finesses. So, um, he's, his jumping is going to come in handy for those kind of corner situations or crossing situations. Now, moving into the fourth centre back, we have a returning player actually. I used to use him on FIFA 11 a lot and he used to, he used to be one of my main centre backs basically. And he's got 80 pace, he's got 76 defending and 79 heading. He's also, he's also only 5 foot 11, so it, it is a downside, but to be honest, I don't notice his uh, his height as a bad thing. I guess I just haven't been looking out for it, I've just been enjoying using him basically. But he does have 83 strength, so that's not too bad. He's got medium attacking and high defensive work rate, which I really do like, because having high defensive work rates just means that he gets back um, without me having to select him to get back, if that makes sense. And moving into the fifth player, we have our third Brazilian player, and he's from League One, he's from PSG, and his name is Marquinhos. He has 78 pace, 78 defending, and 72 heading. And looking at his stats, uh, looking at his card stats, he looks very, very good. But it's when you get into his in-game stats, it kind of lets you down a little bit, because he's only six foot tall. Um, he's only got 60 strength, and just those two things combined isn't great. The fact that he's not particularly tall and he only has 77 jumping means he's not going to be as strong as some of the centre backs I'm listing here. But I put him in here because he has the pace, he's got a nice nationality, he's from the League One as well, so you can make some nice hybrids with him. He's, he's got some nice uh, other good stats like marking, slide tackling, stand tackling, and interceptions there. And moving into the last player, we have Onuha. And he's English, so I thought I'd try and get an English player in. He's got 77 pace, 75 defending, and 76 heading. He's six foot two. He has only 70 jumping, but he's got 84 strength, which is obviously better than Marcunos. He's got medium high defense. Uh, well, sorry, medium attacking and high defensive work rates. He's only got two star weak foot. Obviously, two star skills. Not that, not that skills matters too much, but he does have the power header trait, which is going to help out a lot 
on uh, getting the ball out of your box and just clearing the ball basically. Anyway, that is the end of this part or this episode and in fact the end of this series. So I hope you enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed making them. This this video was kind of about a week late. Um, I intended to make this video before the game come out or it was fully released so you could get your hands on these players before the price possibly went up. But if you did enjoy this uh, series and this episode, make sure you hit that like button. Hopefully we can get a Dream Team series out tomorrow for you and we can just get rolling with that series because I can't wait to do it. It's going to be fun to play and fun to watch as well. So thanks for watching and listening guys. I will catch you later. Bye. Did I get Puyol? Oh, it's 83. Uh, Hulk, yes! We've got a beast. How much does Hulk go for? How much does that beast go for? And Beasley, he goes for a decent amount as well. Oh my god, right. Give me something. Don't freeze. Come on. Spin that egg, spin that egg. Give me a... Jenny Elka.